Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, so as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we're back with another episode on the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. This is episode 2 and you can see yeah, the build looks absolutely amazing. The thing that we built in last episode, I was about to say last night, it definitely wasn't last night. But um, yeah, the vines are really, really irritating. We need to find some string. I do have some string, but not enough for all of the vines. Um, weather's looking amazing, it was just raining a second ago, just before I pressed the record button. But um, yeah, in today's video, the plan for today's video actually is to work on the interior of um, this little hut that we have over here, possibly do like a mini bedroom, a mini storage area, nothing too big, nothing too extraordinary, and uh, possibly even work on a bit of an enchanting table, because we have gear, but the gear isn't that efficient, and we need some efficient gear, mining takes forever, also, Fortune, maybe some silk touch. I want to build a little bit more of glass. But anyways, I did do some off-camera work. So I could some mine. Definitely took forever. Then I found a wandering villager. The guy literally appeared out of nowhere. And eventually I'll turn a million tries. Okay, maybe not a million. Finally captured a villager with his two llamas in a bit of a cobblestone prison. After that, I decided to go on a bit of an adventure. Explore a little, find new biomes, blocks, etc. Talking about new biomes, I found a tiger biome. I think it's a tiger biome. You know, the biome of spruce wood. Eventually, after more millions of blocks, okay, definitely not millions of blocks but you get the gist i stumbled across some ocean ruins battled a zombie and looted the place after more millions of blocks okay not millions but you guys know what i mean i found an ice biome not sure if it's called the ice biome but it, it looked pretty cool and it had load of ice so i decided to go swimming loot the place and shortly after that realizing this biome is probably the most dangerous biome ever <laughs> so um i don't know if you guys noticed but um I can hear a zombie, but that's not what he was supposed to notice <laughs> anyways. Um, if we're at the video, um, the Minecraft sounds were a bit silent, and that's because I was kind of listening to music while doing Minecraft, I'm talking on Discord with some friends, and um, yeah, I didn't separate the channels, so the, the audio got a bit mixed up um, into one audio channel, which absolutely sucks. Um, hope you guys didn't notice, but if you did notice, do tell me in the comment section below. I want to see who, who kind of looks into these sort of details and videos. As a filmmaker, I personally do. Anyway. Um, before we get on to the interior bits, and I'm gonna have to sleep because I didn't sleep last last night, if that makes sense, <laughs> in the game. Um, we're gonna have to get rid of this and find a spot for our traveling villager because where is our traveling villager? Hello. Don't say he disappeared. No. So all this for nothing? So I decided to clean up the improvised cobble prison. I grabbed some saplings, made some axes, and went to gather some wood. Also did some spinning. Whoa! <laughs> and before you all guys go bananas mode on me, no jungle terrain was harmed in the process. As I kind of built a small dirt platform, just, just in the middle of an ocean. Okay, it was more like a big pond, but... You know what I mean. After the wood gathering, we have now stocked our wood supplies uh, to the brim. Um, I have got myself some jungle wood. I also got myself some spruce wood. And I was kind of experimenting with the floor. Kind of did a bit of a checkered pattern. And not going to lie, checkered pattern that will not work. One thing that will work is a jungle slab. I think it's because we already started, like, doing the details with the jungle wood. And the inside, we can't really change the insides too much. We kind of want the same theme, so if we want it the same theme, that means we want a jungle wood. So what I'm going to do is do like this jungle wood flooring, and then afterwards I'm thinking, um, you know how the wall, it has to be cobble on this side. I don't want to just be like stone bricks or something on the other side, or some other wall, like type of stone, because it would just it just won't look good. So what I was thinking, Let's just do it cobblestone and kind of decorate it. You know how we have it decorated on the outside, like with these uh, kind of accent sort of, I don't know, shapes or circles. I don't know the difference. These vines are really getting in the way. We definitely need some string. Uh, but yeah, I want to add some little accents here and there with the logs and some jungle wood. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, do the flooring, see what I can figure out for the walls. And I'll be right back with you guys we have a bit of a progress update so guys as you can see everything is taking a shape uh, we've got a bit of a storage area going a little bit of a, a smeltery going nothing all 
cinematic just just a simple starter things just to get us going and then a little spot behind me right here for valuables right oh my god what was those noises i keep on hearing these noises here and now in minecraft it is quite scary but anyways going back to the progress update we have a spot for our valuables as well as you can see some singular chests with a bit of an anvil and a normal furnace apparently uh, i was watching a video i'm not sure who the video was by but they were using like this super smelter or like a like a super furnace i don't know if it's called a super furnace but please let me know in the comment section below is there a new type of furnace that's been introduced to minecraft because if there is i'm gonna put them in here i don't know if they would work the same as normal furnaces but that would be absolutely awesome so this is the upstairs we got a bit of a ceiling going i wasn't too keen with the design at the beginning and i started messing around but it kind of it kind of is taking shape um i've got a little spot over here for like a, a light so a piece of glowstone we might go to nether this episode or maybe next episode we never know and then for the staircase over here we kind of replicated the pattern over and over again trying to keep it nice and consistent some places as you can see i couldn't but it, it, it's okay. We might, we might, we might work on something. The ceiling hasn't been done. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the ceiling, so I'm just leaving that for now. And then downstairs is like the pattern of the ceiling looks much nicer downstairs. I don't know why. Uh, maybe because it's a, a bigger area. Um, probably <laughs> upstairs we can't really expand too much because we're kind of limited on the resources. But on the sides, I know it looks quite blank. But the idea is um, because we have a little bit more space when it comes to the sides downstairs. And then also when land terraforming, we can land terraform a bit more. But we do have a little space so we can kind of maybe squeeze in a future, I don't know, like, a, you know, those rail farms, those, you know, those AFK farms, the bone mill and stuff. We can maybe, maybe, maybe build one of those. That would be, that would be quite useful um, to have one of those just here. So whenever I'm, like, I don't know, rendering a video or something, I need some food, potatoes or something, rather than having an improvised farm all the way down there in the underground, uh, we could just like, go here afk go back and forth but that'll be possibly a future project i think today is the day where we go into the nether so i upgraded this world into a minecraft 20w17a basically 1.16 this is the latest uh, snapshot and um i thought i thought i'm gonna drop fps in here but not gonna lie i'm doing pretty well in the jungle biome with my computer um i don't have too much of an up-to-date graphics card but it's it's doing pretty well so we're gonna go into the nether because we kind of need some 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 bits for lighting some some glowstone maybe some other bits i kind of want to explore the new nether as well i haven't explored it yet so maybe we could do maybe a live stream or like an episode fully in the nether um let me guys know but let's build the nether portal i'm just gonna improvise it here just because why not we don't really have a spot for the nether portals so are you guys whoa these vines are getting in the way but are you guys ready i got my flint and steel three two one boom and let's go into the nether oh boy oh boy it's loading and doesn't seem different hmm <gasps> we have a new mob oh i can't zoom in we have a oh no 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 no! You were attacking me. Why you were attacking me? Go away, bro. Go away, bro. Go away, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did not know they attacked me. Does that mean these are gonna attack me? Please don't attack me. Okay, no, you guys are not attacking me. Hello. Hello. Okay, so I'm gonna be pig men look so much different, but they're not attacking me, which is really really great. Um I do need some glowstone and there is no glowstone around here. What has happened to the nether? There's loads of quartz, which is absolutely amazing. Right, I didn't take a lot of food, so we can't go too far out. Um oh, I found some glowstone. Right, let's go and fetch that glowstone. Okay guys, we have oh I can hear a gasp. That's not good. I haven't seen one yet, which is which is good, but I can hear one, which is not good. Uh, is this a normal zombie pigment? It is. I'm kind of looking out for those special zombie pigments because that one really, really scared me. Can we just like, oh, no, we are going to die if we just walk off. See, this is why I'm not allowed in the nether because I always die. So I do these sort of bridges. Hopefully, I'm not going to get killed by anyone. Right, let's grab this. This close to I can jump down. I can jump down. Right, let's just dig around it first. Maybe make a bit of a platform underneath it. Um, okay, that was a really stupid idea to do this because I don't know if this is one block and a, okay, let's let's do a bit of flooring. 
cobblestone flooring you know let's keep ourselves safe so what I'm gonna do is um, actually I don't need many so let's just do this Oof. okay oh my god where okay where is those noises coming from oh no 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 why why are you here why are you here can I kill you will they will they try to kill me Would he? Okay. Zombie pigmen. Are you okay? <laughs> okay, they're not. Okay, that's good that they're not the same people because otherwise I would be dead. Why did they try and attack me? That is, okay, don't follow me. Okay, go away. I'm just going to go over here and I am going to grab a little bit more of this glowstone. I don't want you guys here. Go away. Don't come close. <laughs> Guys, I am actually really scared of this new nether. I was so excited. I actually made an update video uh, the other day um, talking about the new nether and how to update your nether. So if you guys have a world like me that you started in 1.15.2 and want to go to the new nether, watch the video how to watch the video on how to update your nether you guys will thank me a lot you'll be able to update to this horrific nether update well it's not horrific it's actually absolutely amazing but it's quite scary especially when you're playing on your own so i finally made it out of the nether alive somewhere alive i i didn't die yet i actually haven't died in a series yet which is which is quite new to me because i normally die quite fast and as you can see we have some glowstone so what we're gonna do is go inside and oh no the glass textures aren't joint glass i'm gonna have to get a texture pack that's not cool anyways let's put the glowstone in here oh my god that looks absolutely amazing and then what we can also do just for now uh just just stick some glow that's not glowstone, that's cobblestone. <laughs> you can tell I'm still shaking after the nether. I'm not picking the right blocks. There we go. Put some glowstone here just for the extra lighting, just for now. I know it looks a bit ugly, but it's it's okay. And then let's go upstairs and stick the lighting in here. Boom. And I was actually thinking maybe what we should do is have some lighting under these chests. Uh, because you can't really see it. But it will illuminate this place. And I was thinking of maybe, uh, actually, I think too much and I don't do a lot. So let's just do this. Boom. And then in the future, we can switch things around. Boom and boom and there we go chests are illuminating and you can't see it that's perfect but anyways guys unfortunately this does bring us to the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it, if you did please be sure to leave a like if you really 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 loved it then make sure to subscribe um these glass sections are really really irritating me the support by the way on the last video was absolutely insane thank you so so much um i couldn't ask for more guys um absolutely amazing support on the channel even though i haven't been uploading for a long time and now i'm just back out of the blue but suddenly i'm going to end this video here so if you guys enjoyed it thank you so so much for watching take care everybody and bye bye